Many schools and academies have the words aspire and achieve in some form in their mottos. Few have the words serve. And I was incredibly proud of the academy, the sixth form, when Ofsted came in February and told us that they had noticed that the young people in our academy serve each other. And they picked out on two things in particular. They picked out that the way the young people served each other and the way that the young people, or the quality of the relationships between the young people and our staff. And they, they, they focused on that because they thought it was unusually good. And they judged that aspect of life in our academy to be outstanding. And I hope that as parents, you are as proud of the young people here today as we are. Each year I rejoice in all that you have actually managed to achieve. And the strength of the school like yours actually is not only in its academic development, but in the hope and potential it brings to the community. Your motto course, which the principals talked about, of aspire, serve and achieve, in reality, it's not just a motto. You are the expression of it. Schools are opportunity centers. That's what they are. They must create the habits of lifelong learning as the first and necessary stage. So I hope all of you, because in the center, you started to have this aspiration for lifelong learning, you're going to go on and achieve it again and again and again. So all schools should be a learning resource for the whole of the community. Our Church of England uh, schools have always had a very important part to play in this. From the very beginning, they have been community schools. They're best in their locality and seek to serve that community, making learning available to everybody. They are distinctive both in their approach to education and the basis of their relationship within the community. Uh, the vision which brought them into being was the same, actually, which provides, through the parish system, for a church presence in every square mile of England. That's how they were actually established. And the thing about the Church of England is that in every square mile there's a parish church wanting to serve the community, not just those who come to church. So your school is doing exactly what actually churches in the communities are trying to do. Of course, Church of England schools like at the Bishop Sethamon Academy are distinctive in that they are places where the gospel values of loving God and of neighbor are actually worked out. And ashamedly so. Um, that's the context in which your academy is set. Love of neighbor and love of God. So I want to congratulate you uh, for this wonderful graduation moment.